Hi, Hiram here. Going along with the carbon felt stuff that I've been doing the last couple of days, I was thinking about an idea that I had about using carbon felt as a cover for your pots so that you don't burn your delicate little hands where you can wrap it around like so. Now, I must admit, I didn't invent this. I've talked about this with several people. But the problem that always came in was how do you attach this? How do you get it to stick? Not permanently, but just so that you can have it on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. The other day I found these at our local La Gourmet Chef store. They're hot cooking bands. They're basically rubber bands made out of silicon. And they say they're rated for up to 600. Can you see that? 600 degrees Fahrenheit or 350 centigrade so I thought hmm that might be pretty cool what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Stanley camp cook pot that I used in a test a couple of weeks ago let me take this handle off because you should be able to pick this up right with this and not burn your little dainties what you do, I have a piece of scrap here. It's not the optimal size. It's a little bit long and a little bit short in height. But just for a test here, this should tell me if this will help or not. Now part of the idea was that not only would it protect your hands from the pot, but it would protect the pot from the cold air hitting it, especially in the winter when you're out for winter camping. Now, th that probably won't affect much this time of year with as warm as it is here. But, see, we put the silicon band there like that. I think as long as the open flame doesn't hit the bands, they probably should be safe. We shall see. So there you go. See, it's attached. I can grip it. Okay, i got two cups of water here. Put that in. <clears throat> now for two cups, that's only coming up to about here. But if you filled it all the way up, I think especially like I said in the winter, covering your pot would protect it from the outside wind blowing it and chilling it off and stuff. Let's see what we got for a temperature. About 60. I'm going to use one of Colorado Camper's stoves again. This is the same one I used in the previous test. Like that. Wait for it to come to a bloom. There we go. Let's put this on. And let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 748, 248. Okay. Huh. This might have been a bad example. In the last test, well, let me just show you something here. Let's get a temperature. On the carbon felt, see the little red dot? That's reading 400, 480, it, it varies, but it's under 500 degrees. So these bands were rated for 600 degrees Fahrenheit, so they seem to be okay. Now the thing is, this might have been a bad, it probably was a bad example. This is using a skinny pot on a side burner, so it probably needed the flames going up the side of the pot in order to heat it up. This actually took well two seconds longer than the previous test. Okay let's see what I can do here. I should be able to lift that up by that. Even though it showed you know like under 500 degrees it doesn't stay there. That was the flames going up the side. I don't want to light my cable here. 
But see, I'm holding it up by the carbon felt right off the stove. Now it is warm, but it's not hot to the touch. Pretty cool. Uh, let me just put this out so I don't light myself. <coughs> so cool. Now with a different burner, with a burner where the flame came up through the middle and then out the side so that the bottom was all getting hot, this probably would have heated up a whole lot faster. But using a side burner, just the wrong combination. Pretty neat. So, you know, this is on here now, but once it's cooled off, I can just pull the rubber bands off. Now, they do get a little carbon felt on the rubber band, I noticed. It pulls off little particles of it. But they're called hot cooking bands. I got them at the Lord... Sorry, it's French. Le Gourmet Chef, Lord Le Gourmet, whatever. In a cooking store, one of your highfalutin cooking stores, they probably have them. It was five ninety nine, and there's twenty of them in the bag. So you might want to check these out. They're showing them using them. Said they're safe for microwaves, fry pans, freezers, dishwasher. I assume in the other languages it says the same. Hmm. They're showing you doing asparagus on the grill using the bands to hold them together. So that's hot cooking bands with the carbon felt as a, a blanket for your pots. Kind of neat. Now again, I'm not saying I invented this. I'm just saying I was thinking about this. So... I thank Colorado Camper again for his stove. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.